Well, hello, good morning, beautiful people. We have arrived in Mexico and today is our first day really exploring the city. We are going to show you a bunch of things that you can do here in Mexico City, plus give you kind of like our first impressions of tourists, first time here in Mexico City. So we're starting our day here in, and I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, but Chatulpec, <laughs> Chatulpec Park. And we're gonna go and see this castle that you can kind of see right behind us here. It is a Sunday as well. And so we actually specifically came here today because the castle is free to go see on Sundays. Crazy big building, I wouldn't expect that. And it's most of it's a hotel, so it's a good sign. We also took the metro for the first time today. It was five pesos. I assume it's the same price on every day because, as Jackie mentioned, it's Sunday today. It was good. I mean, there's a lot of police presence. Those things like it's either reassuring or concerning. This is actually a really nice way to start the day because we are taking like a morning stroll through the park. It's not too hot just yet, but walking uphill to this castle. So excuse me if I'm a little bit puffed. Also, Mexico City is at like 2,300 meters above sea level. So the altitude makes it harder. <laughs> it's Castillo de Chatulpec, the name of the same name as this park here, and apparently it's the only castle in North America, and it's where they filmed Romeo and Juliet, the Leonardo DiCaprio version. I'm not exactly sure whether we've entered to buy the tickets just yet or not, because we kind of went through security. We haven't paid anything, but of what I read online is that the castle is free on Sundays, so I'm hoping that's still the case. Otherwise, maybe we'll have to buy to get up here. But on every other day, it's just 90 pesos, so not too expensive. So we're walking up the mountain, well, right here. <laughs> and we can see in those skyscrapers, looks like a giant flagpole with the biggest flag we've ever seen. I'm just doing some cool research because it looks exuberantly huge. It turns out it's not a building, it's just the biggest flag in the entire world. It's massive. You guys can't see it, but it's really big. So it actually turns out that it was not free to get in. It was 90 pesos per person. I think maybe it's for the locals and not the tourists, but we're not really sure. We also had to check our GoPro camera. They wouldn't let us bring that in. So we're just filming on our phone, but the artwork is really cool. It's very interesting. It's not like a castle artwork. It's like modern art depicting you can really see how big this park is from up here at the so where we came from was just behind you and we just walked a really short distance but over what way is this now? West? This is north. North? Over on this north side the park is huge and there's so many trees in it. And like, also based on what I could see on Google Maps I think most of the park is on that side so wow. it's even bigger that side. we down the castle that was actually really nice well worth the 90 pesos each so we're just gonna make a way down this hill find some water because we had to let go of all the water we had in our bottle for the whole day which has can't take a water bottle in there so we didn't know this was gonna be here but there seems to be almost like a market in the park and it is Sunday, so maybe it's a Sunday market. There's a lot of toys, a lot of stuff for kids. I think they know their market. Yeah. <laughs> but everything looks really cheap. Like everything's like five, 10, 20 pesos. It's crazy. Such a nice park. 
and it's really shady. They've got so many trees, which is really nice because it's quite hot. Because Jacqueline this morning was like, you know what, Max? It's a long time we haven't done a lot of walking in one day. It's true. Yeah. yeah in so. Southeast Asia, we just always hired a motorbike, so we took a motorbike everywhere. Yeah. It's been a long time since we've done like a big day of walking. New plan. We started walking and we realized we only had an hour and a half before our walking tour. So we're gonna keep walking towards the meeting place and then we're gonna stop and get some lunch on the way. You like those glorious moustache. By the way, let me know what you guys think of it. You know if it's a thumbs up or super thumbs up. We've just veered off that main street that they've blocked off for the bicyclists because it's like a business district, I think. And so there's not really many restaurants. The restaurants that are there are all chains. Yeah. I would like to try something a little bit more locally owned. So we're gonna kind of veer off, see what we find, hopefully something. Honestly, I think this is a pretty pricey area. So we'll see. So we stumbled upon a cute little restaurant on the side under the shade of the trees, very cozy, very quiet. And we got some fish tacos. Well, we got, it's a fish restaurant, we didn't even know. Um, and we got some tacos. So Jacqueline is inside getting some, putting some love on those tacos. Now these are some tacos. So Max is really hungry and I just saw a place that said taqueria and of tacos, so we stopped. They only do seafood, which I'm not mad about because we haven't had fish tacos, so I'm really excited for these. And they have a salad bar inside, so they bring you the taco just with the fried fish, and then you go in there and you put whatever you want on it. But they're so big. We're gonna have to like remove one piece of fish to eat them. So they came with this fried fish on it, and then I added the pico de gallo or the salsa verde. I'm not sure exactly which one, what the difference between those two things are. Um, and then some coleslaw, some guacamole, like it was in a sauce bottle. They said it was avocado, and some chili sauce, and there's some fresh lime as well. I'm just gonna taste the fish. Oh my god, yum! Yeah. Yes. Better than the other day. Uh huh. These tacos are so fresh. They taste like, I know the fish is fried, which is obviously not healthy, but the tortilla and the ingredients, everything, they just taste so light and fresh and healthy. Mm. Lunch was so good. So it was 129 pesos and that included the tip and it was delicious and fresh and yummy and they were so nice. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah, highly recommend. We don't know where it was. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are recommended. But now we have 40 minutes to get to our tour and we have to get a coffee on the way, so we need to get moving. We really picked the best day to come explore yeah. Mexico City because it's Sunday and it's like Jacqueline was a business district, it's a lot of things, so it's very quiet. Okay, we finished our tour. It was really weird beginning because the first thing he said was just like we're going to walk through some really dodgy neighborhoods where there's like cartels and gangs and blah 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 so like filming is not always okay and kind of put us on the back foot because we didn't realize that's exactly what the tour was going to be so um we were very like a bit uncomfortable filming at the beginning it was also a good thing that he was there because First of all, we'd have never gone there in the first place, or never known we were around there. But also, we discovered a lot of things. He had a lot of fun yeah. facts, so it was a good thing. It's the kind of moment where you realize it's better sometimes to discover with a guy. I know it's a bit of a pain, touristy, and all of that group, blah blah blah. But sometimes it's actually a very good thing. So the tour is going well. It's just that we're going. We didn't even know we booked it, but we're going places where it's not really recommended to record. Um, so we're just gonna show you a few of your images here, and then we'll tell you more about it later. So far, it's very good. So then, uh, these guys, uh, as you see, this truck, they are fixing cars, you know? It's not legal to fix cars in the street. So for 12 years, they had two trucks, 
and then they were uh, they were super noisy. They have uh, uh, loud music, reggaeton, cumbia, you know, salsa, you know. And then the neighbors were complaining. But uh, here in this neighborhood, if you want the police to do something, uh, you must pay to the police. So well, uh, now we are going to walk here. So again, please don't take photographs because the guys uh, on this street. They I know it was about two and a half ish hours. We walk. We went to a place where they make kombucha. So we're trying some polka at the, one of the original pokeries, like one of the only ones left in the city. And it's like a fermented uh, agave juice. Yum. That one that I just had was lime. It's tomato. It's on tomato? Yeah. You were not going to get drunk, you know? Yeah. And apart from that, it's a really good vibe. Like the whole family aspect here is Sunday. I don't know, I highly doubt it's like this every day, but perfect day to do it. And he was really charismatic, and the tour was actually amazing. And we've ended it in this beautiful park, which is awesome. They've got like people dancing, it's really, really nice. And I didn't feel like I was in a dodgy neighborhood ever. Like, I never, it never seemed like you were somewhere dodgy. So, honestly, I don't know. Our tour guide gave us a tip that right next to this park is the Geological Museum and from 4.30 to 5 uh, it's free and I think it's the last half an hour before they close so we're gonna go check that out real quick as well There's a cool dinosaur inside apparently <laughs> Cracky, Jacqueline, we found a mammoth He's not so woolly anymore Jacqueline's for scale Telescope, microscope Love it. Oh my gosh, Max. Are you mm. geeky now? Oh yes. Oh, watch. <laughs> Our guide actually said that this is one of the tenth, some of the tenth oldest museum in the world. Yeah, we found a dinosaur. Apparently, it's the first dinosaur that they found in Mexico. First real fully bone dinosaur. Wow. That was really nice. Actually, it was really cool. We didn't stay very long, which was enough for us to feel like we had all the information we wanted to know. It was all in Spanish, so yeah, we kind of just had to look and guess for some of the stuff, but it was I'm still really cool to see all the dinosaur bones and the melon bones. They're so big. It's really neat. But we are pretty exhausted. We have been walking all day since 9 a.m. non-stop, so we're pretty beat. Yeah, so we're gonna leave you here, guys. Yeah. But we have a lot more coming, so yes. thanks for watching. Alright, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye. No, go away. <laughs> this one, why? It's the reason why it's on why, so we can both fit easily. <laughs> so that you make. We can just walk next to each other, okay? okay. <laughs> so this is actually a really nice way to start the day, because... <laughs> Stop. Stop. Okay, okay, okay.